I'm Annika Ellefson, and I'm from Kent Bellows Studio. <laughs> and this is called Cracks in the Basement Foundation of Your Cement Church, or something like that. <laughs> in a world of logic, religion is a hot-tempered, middle-class, beefed-up, buzz-cut, sandals with socks, philosophy major on meth. Mm. His mouth is too big for his ideas, his ideas are too big for their actual merit, and his merit is small enough to go in one ear and out the other. He condemns the contradictory and the curious with no mercy, no kindness, and a double-barreled shotgun. He forgot to take that ethics class, you see. His mom wrote his resume, his dad is paying for his education, and he thinks he can see the future. He thinks he knows what's to come, but he's unprepared for the battle of science versus make-believe. He's dropping out of college in the third year. He says it's because no one can keep up with his massive intellect and his incredibly <laughs> modern ideas. He forgets, of course, that he bases all of his ideas on things that thousands before him have said. He especially forgets that his way of life is only possible because of amazing women, people of color, transgender people, people of differing sizes, shapes, classes, and sexualities. Because he knows that everything good in this world was made by cisgender, white, middle to upper class, straight men. <laughs> He's set in his ways. He doesn't ever change, except for when he does. But it's not his fault he's grown up a manipulative, hypocritical, abusive person. He was raised by a father who had all of those traits, and father hated him, and mother feared father. It was okay, though. They both believed in good, traditional family values. He was used. He was abused. And he is afraid. And that's really the reason he sucks at life. He's terror, given body and breath. He's so afraid of death. He's frozen for fear, so he's created a fantasy for himself that says he's never alone. He's always going to exist. And if he does things just right, follows all of his ridiculous rules, he gets an eternal reward. Or at least a better life next time. His rules simply serve to allow him to hate others with impunity, despite that being against his rules. <laughs> he loves his rules, though, and he adores the ideas of his rewards, but he's unhappy anyway. And it's because he isn't entirely sure. Doubt has its filthy fingers in his ears, so he thinks that fear is hope, struggle is deserved, and pain is love. He lies, endlessly and relentlessly, to protect his doubt, deaf mind, and ideals. I, a voice of logic and reason, do not have to defend myself. I know that doubt is natural, but our dear friend religion is not. I hate him only a little. Mostly I pity him because his world is so small and he is so afraid. I am sick and tired of fearing an entity so hateful insecure, manipulative, and violent. Are you like me? Are you ready to be unafraid? <laughs>